all new at 11, take a look at this police cruiser. The deputy who was driving it is seriously injured tonight after hitting a horse while responding to a call. He suffered a broken nose and other facial bones, including his eye socket. He will undergo hip surgery tomorrow, but despite all of that, his wife tells me she is just grateful this wasn't even worse. When he turned and looked at me, I lost it because, I mean, I'm just thankful that he's still alive and he's still here. An emotional wife recounting the moment she saw her husband, Harrelson County Sheriff Deputy Daryl Browning, after his accident. The 10-year veteran with the Harrelson County Sheriff's Office also works part-time with the Mount Zion Police Department to make ends meet. Deputy Browning was seriously injured while responding to a call Monday night. Take a look at his patrol car. His family tells me he hit a horse. We're waiting on hip surgery in the morning. Um, he's in a lot of pain. He will have facial surgery at the end of the week. He has a broken eye socket, broken nose, and several broken bones in his face. At Grady Memorial Hospital Tuesday, loved ones gathered at his bedside, including his fellow deputies, who say Browning is not just a colleague, but a brother. Corporal Richard Harrison says Deputy Browning trained him, and he is the kind of law enforcement officer who goes above and beyond. He's definitely somebody that pushes us to uh, be more than just the average law enforcement officer. Deputy Browning has four children, is married to his high school sweetheart, and she says he will be out of work for six months while he recovers. He works every single day. He doesn't take a day off. So, and I stay home with our four kids. He's our only source of income. The community is now rallying around this deputy, father and husband, raising money and offering to help the family however they can. He's the strongest person I've ever known and he always takes care of his family. He always provides for his family and he's always there for anybody he can be. He's just an all around good guy and it's hard to see your big brother light up like that. I have been brought to tears several times today at the outpouring of love that people have shown, the support that people have shown. This family is just grateful Deputy Browning is going to make it and are overwhelmed by the support they've received. We have so many people that are praying for him and we know that God's grace will get him through it. And if you want to help Deputy Daryl Browning and his family, just go to our website, fox5atlanta.com. We've put more information there for you on how you can help them. Just look under the scene on TV section.